Hi, and welcome to episode five, uh, six of uh, Data Science Rewarded Project. Previously, we have done uh, five episodes uh, about this project, and episode one about uh, problem definition and scraping data, episode two uh, about the data cleansing parts, uh, three, four, and five. Episode five is about getting latitude longitude of Toronto and New York City. So if you are uh, new to this uh, episodes, you have to watch the previous uh, five episodes to understand uh, the, uh, this about these projects and data cleansing data, uh, and, uh, I mean, uh, data scripting parts of this project and also getting the latitude longitude of both uh, New York and Toronto city using GeoPy. So uh, if you watch it all the previous tutorials, you can continue watch this video and uh, uh, continue working on your project. All right. Uh, about this episode is uh, we're going to uh, visualize map of Toronto and New York City using Folium Python library. Folium Python library is a great uh, visualization uh, library that's going to visualize uh, the latitude and longitude of uh, both city on the map. All right. If you have not installed this uh, library, you can install using pip install polem. Pip install polem on your Jupyter notebook. All right, uh, and also import uh, polem if you have already installed that uh, to render a map. Uh, all right, and uh, in the previous tutorial, if you remember that, we have created a data frame, uh, I mean, the CSV file about uh, Toronto data.csv, which contains the postal code, borough, neighborhood, latitude, and longitude of the Toronto city. So you can explore uh, this data because we are going to use this data for uh, our uh, visualization uh, uh, project. And uh, also, we have created a data frame about New York City. Uh, so you can ny underscore df. Uh, we, you can watch the previous tutorials how to uh, parse the data from web uh, server and also transform it into a data frame. So we have done a lot of things in the past uh, five episodes. All right. So in this episode, we are going to create map of Toronto using latitude and longitude values and also uh, uh, New York City. So now we are going to explore and cluster the neighborhoods of uh, both cities uh, using this great visualization tool on the map. And we can decide uh, to work with borrow of uh, each city so we are going to create that uh, now. Map of uh, Toronto. We call the Polyam library. Uh, from Polyam library, we call the function or the method map. In this function, we pass the location of uh, the latitude and longitude of uh, Toronto. Uh, we have already created in the previous uh, episode five. You can watch episode five about getting latitude longitude of Toronto and New York City. All right. That is a location parameter. In this location, we pass lat underscore CA, comma, long, longitude underscore CA in the list, in the list. And we can also zoom, start zoom. This is true, that's going to uh, zoom in uh, and zoom out the map. Now we have created the map, uh, but uh, we are going to add markers on the map. Okay, to create markers on the map uh, for every, uh, so here we use this data to, because we have a neighborhood 
borrow that is your language tool. So we are going to map this data along with uh, that is your language tool of each borrow with a neighborhood on the map of uh, a Toronto uh, city. So we can simply cluster or group the neighborhood of each borough. All right. Now we are going to uh, create for every lat, latitude and longitude, borrow a neighborhood in, uh, we can zip this, we can zip uh, to DF, we can get latitude column and Dev longitude column from our data frame, latitude longitude of each uh, values from this data frame. And we can also get borrow, borrow, neighborhood, uh, okay, neighborhood. neighborhood and so for every latitude longitude and borrow uh, and neighborhood from our data frame toronto data frame we are going to visualize we are going to add uh, marker on the map on top of the map that is uh, to visualize all right uh, let's create label for uh, this this label contains the uh, neighborhood and borrow. I mean, sorry. We can use format text for a string formatting. We can pass, I mean, neighborhood, neighborhood and borrow. All right, we can, uh, then we can create a pop-up on the map. When you click on the uh, circular uh, uh, marker, you can see the pop-up and uh, you can see the neighborhood and the borough of each uh, 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 data. So we can create volume dot pop-up from volume and we can uh, pass the label label which contains neighborhood and borough in uh, separate uh, using uh, comma separated and uh, we can pass parse is an html that is true parse html all right the next is we are going to create marker a circular marker for each uh, to circularly mark each uh, borrow. Volume dot cir circle marker. This circle marker is uh, contains lat latitude and long longitude comma and also radius we can put radius for each uh, neighbor uh, we can put five for you can give more actually this is uh, uh, for example and pop-up pop-up we pass label we created the up up all right this one uh, and we can uh, fill, uh, I mean, color, we can put uh, blue, for instance, for example, I mean, in uh, like this, okay. And also fill the color is true. And fill color, underscore color is we can uh, put color here 
for example, three one in number representation. It's six uh, CC. You can give your own color. It, it doesn't matter. Don't depend on my uh, own code. All right. And fill opacity. Opacity is uh, zero point seven. And the last parse HTML, in this case is false. We have already set it, uh, parse HTML in the level. Then if I, uh, put uh, the add method uh, outside this uh, circular marker method, add two, this is the method, and the map. Where, where, we are, where we are going to add this uh, marker? On the map, we have created a map, this one. Map underscore Toronto. All right, now we have finished uh, this and we can run. Uh, the, okay, uh, okay, there is key error. Uh, let's check. Uh, here, there is a double R. All right. Now we call uh, map underscore Toronto to see the map Toronto. Okay, max this, uh, this. Okay, let's see. It's loading. Uh, we can zoom out and zoom in, and we can see. Okay, all right. Those are the Toronto city. All neighborhoods uh, or boroughs are mapped on uh, uh, this visualization uh, on map, and we can uh, simply zoom out. And you are free, free, uh, free. Uh, you are uh, feel free to. Uh, visualize uh, or zoom out, zoom in this, and you can see. Uh, for example, if you click uh, one of these, and you can see the boroughs and uh, neighborhood of each city. Uh, for example, this is Dorust Park, Wexford Heights, Scarborough Town Center. Scarborough. Okay, this is the. Uh, okay, uh, if you, then you can close this and you can. Uh, so you can expand. Uh, you can zoom out and zoom in this, and you can see all the boroughs. Yeah, you can see Toronto here. All the boroughs, neighborhoods uh, of Toronto city. So this is one of the uh, visualization uh, using polyam, and we can decide that uh, to work with boroughs of the city uh, of this uh, uh, visualization. For example, if you click here, you can see that downfalls is East York is Toronto. And if you click somewhere, some other. Okay, this is how we can uh, visualize uh, the latitude longitude of uh, Toronto City. And uh, you can uh, you can create the visualization, the map of New York City by yourself. And if you are if you are confusing how to create, 
that, you can ask me. You can feel free to ask me uh, in the comment box of this video, as well as on Telegram group. And uh, I can provide you the source code of uh, the New York, um, visualizing New York City. And uh, watch the next video uh, about this project. And we can uh, do a lot of things afterward. And thanks for watching.